Yeah, Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy prove that we're living in a simulation. We need to talk about this. Okay, so despite living in two different centuries, these two presidents have a freakishly large amount of coincidences. So many that it's really hard to believe that they're just coincidences. I don't think y'all are prepared for this. Okay, so Lincoln was elected into Congress in 1846 and JFK was elected into Congress in 1946. And then Lincoln became president in 1860 and JFK became president in 1960. Lincoln's secretary was named Kennedy and Kennedy's secretary was named Lincoln. They even both had two completely different doctors that were both named Charles Taft. They were both assassinated and shot in the head on a Friday. And both their assassinators went by three different names. John Wilkes Booth, who assassinated Lincoln, and Lee Harvey Oswald, who assassinated JFK. Now, John Wilkes Booth was born in 1839, and Lee Harvey Oswald was born in 1939. And if you count the letters, they both have exactly 15 letters in their name. John Wilkes Booth shot Lincoln from a theater and ran to a warehouse, and Lee Harvey Oswald shot Kennedy from a warehouse and ran to a theater. Now, the theater Lincoln was shot in was called Ford's Theater. Kennedy was shot in a Ford car, specifically the Lincoln Continental style. Lincoln's successor was Andrew Johnson, born in 1808, and JFK's successor was Lyndon Johnson, born in 1908. If this doesn't prove that we're living in a damn simulation, I literally don't know what will. Let me know what y'all think, and as always, that is today's conspiracy.